Good evening. Our uh, run of above average temperatures is due to end in the next coming days, but we did see another day of 50 degree temperatures across all of East Central Illinois. 52 here in Charleston. We did get up to 54 in Taylorville and 55 in Effingham. Conditions are back down on the decline. We just dropped down to 51 in Effingham. We're currently still sat in the 50s here in Charleston. Danville already down to 45, but we do see clear skies across the area, and that will be what changes overnight tonight. Overnight, we're going to be seeing some rain entering the picture, 40 degrees for our overnight low here in Charleston. We're going to be seeing breezy conditions coming from the south, gusting at times of up to 20 miles an hour. But the main story, of course, is that rain coming in the early morning hours on Thursday. Now, as you get off to school or work tomorrow, definitely wise to bring an umbrella because that rain will be, start, will be with us on your morning commute, 42 to start the day. By the time that we reach the mid-afternoon, we'll be a little bit colder than we were today, 45 for your 2 o'clock temperature with the clouds clearing, and that will be the case throughout the entire day tomorrow. 45 is where we'll finish up for the second to last day of your work week. You're going to be seeing that rain at the 8 o'clock hour, but clouds will slowly be clearing as we move throughout the day. But the main story tomorrow is the winds at the noon hour, gusting and sustained winds at times 20 to 25 miles an hour from our northwest, which is very significant wind gusts. And speaking of wind gusts, we're going to look at them here as we move throughout the night tonight. We're going to be seeing those winds shift. They were initially coming from the southeast. They moved to the west and they're starting to move coming from the northwest. That's in part to the cold front that's bringing that storm, those rain system through the area. But wind gusts at times ranging in the upper 20s and at times over 30 miles an hour. Now, by the time that we reach the 5 o'clock hour tomorrow, wind gusts will be back down to around 20 miles an hour. But we're definitely going to be seeing changing conditions in the area overnight. Looking at your future cast right around 4 o'clock in the morning, is where we're going to start to see the bulk of the rain overnight. We're going to be seeing it first hit counties like Macon and Pyatt that will eventually continue to move from the west out east. By the time we reach the 7 or 8 o'clock hour, we're going to see it mostly out of the area. Vigo County will still be seeing it a little bit later on in the morning. By the time that we reach the noon hour, we're going to be seeing all those clouds move out of the area and a sunny day unfold across east central Illinois. When it's all said and done and that storm system is out of the area, most communities will be seeing a trace amount of rain, but only select towns such as Champaign and Paris are currently registering a tenth of an inch of precipitation on our models. But that's not the last bit of precipitation that we have this week. Friday, it's becoming ever more likely that snow is to enter the forecast. 32 degrees for the high to end the work week. Saturday, partly cloudy skies unfolding after the snow moves out. 35 degrees, so we're staying a little bit colder, but a warm-up is coming back. Clear skies, high pressure system moving overhead to end the weekend, but 48 for our temperatures. And we'll be back up into the 50s by the time we reach next week. But before that, a little bit of a sneak peek for Friday. At 5 o'clock, you're already starting to see a little bit of that snow, a little bit out of our viewing area. But as we enter the morning hours, right around 8 or 9 o'clock is when we'll start to see the bulk of that snow enter the viewing area. That'll be with us for most of the midday hours, as you can see at our noon hour here. Most of the area is seeing snowy conditions, but by the time we reach the early afternoon, clouds and the snow will be moving out. We're currently projecting one to two inches of snow. We'll currently have more updates tomorrow on tomorrow's edition of Newswatch. But for the rest of your seven day outlook, Monday we will be back up into the mid 40s for Monday, Tuesday, back up into the 50s with a chance of precipitation and Wednesday possibly even back to the 60s. So a nice couple days next week, 